Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're gonna continue working on part 2 of this house build. Let's get started. So in their previous video, we were able to create our exterior wall and then we added a powder room, our living room, and then we have our, our family room, living room, and then our dining area. And then we're gonna create our stairs and maybe after that we finish creating the um, kitchen. So let's go to architecture first. Let's zoom in here and we're going to add the stairs around here. So click on stairs and then after that we're just going to decide uh, how many uh, desired number of riser we want. I want it to be equal. So at least nine upwards and nine um, below. So here I'm gonna start off by adding this going up. So I'm gonna put nine. So after that, I'm gonna click it there and then I will go and add another nine going upwards and it it created the landing so here I'm just gonna add it around 1500 so that will be good and then here I'm gonna click this and I'm going to move this so around one one fifty or let's make it twelve hundred here I'm gonna click this as well this side and I'm going to do the same thing And then after that, I'm going to click it around here and then click finish. And then after that, we could see that the stairs were created. And of course, we're going to uh, change this look later on. But for now, let's go and create our kitchen. And then here, we're going to create our kitchen by going to insert and then load family. And then here, go back to the main and right about here, just look for casework. And then here, choose countertop and most of the time, I use the L shape with sync. I'm going to press open and then go to architecture and click component. You can click the space bar so that you could orient it. So here I'm going to add it like that. And then I'm going to add this one. I'm going to add an extension here. So just to show. And then we could put a wall here. So depending on the design that you want, we could put a wall here so that we differentiate the space. It will give it uh, a better look but then again we want it to be open so maybe uh, let's decide later on and then here I could put in the fridge so in that sense I'm just going to go to annotate 
and create a detailed line. And I'm going to use detail line to create the fridge. So I'm using two rectangle and a line like that. And that will give it look. And then also, same thing, thin lines. I'm going to create a line like so. We can even change this line. To a demolish line or this kind of line which is a dash line so I'm using using this so that to show that there's like a cup board underneath and also we're gonna add in an island so I'm gonna go back and insert an island and we usually have this so it will just represent the island And then click component and as you can see it's big but we could change the size of it so here we could manipulate the size like so and then we could just align it probably on this side and as you can see we could add in some um, chairs uh, we're gonna use um, annotate again detailed line to show that there will be the gas stove or whatever you want here um, I'm gonna use annotate again and then I use a, a circle And then I'm just going to use the draw axis to create four circle. That will represent stove. And then let's insert some uh, chairs. Or we could just use this same chair. So what you can do is you could click this and type in CS or this icon this is the create similar and once you do as you can see once you type it it's like uh, you activate to create this um, uh, chairs again so you could add it you don't need to look for it on the architecture component tab so here just gonna click copy and move it on the side like that so now everything is good we were able to create the kitchen like this and I, I just noticed I need to erase that that's extra and we could just extend this a little bit like that And I'm gonna center this there. So here we have this area. So maybe we could extend this area a little bit more. We could add in some decorative pieces. So go to insert load family um, go back to the main and let's add in some furniture and then tables we're gonna add in some nightstand So let's add this so nightstand 
and then go back to architecture click component I'm gonna add a nice stand right here and right there we could add it here as well press escape and then let's add in more component we could add in some storage let's add this credenza so shelving and then credenza and then open go back to architecture and click component for the shelving we could add the shelving right here to define this area and then we could add in some um, nook here for reading so that will be that nice insert again load family and before that actually I forgot to add in the credenza so let's look for the credenza that we just add so I'm gonna add this credenza so I'm going to add this credenza right here in the entrance. And then let's insert more furniture. And then here we could add in the tables. So round table. So I'm just going to add it here. And then we're going to add more. And another chair. So let's add this chair. So I'm just going to add the chair like this. And this is good enough. Let's insert more. So I'm going to insert some lights. So I'm going to add in this Hemings here table lamp. And before you add this, change the elevation to 650. And let's add it here. And then before we finish, let's add in some TV. So Go to insert, load family. I believe this is under furniture. And we have the flat screen. And of course, we can make this bigger by selecting this one.
and might as well add the stamp. And this one, we have to change the elevation so that this will be shown more. So there we have it. Uh, we're going to continue on the next video. Thank you for watching and I hope you like the video. Please hit like and subscribe. Feel free to comment down below.